Hey y'all, Southern Living Readers voted Athens, Georgia as the South's best college town for 2022. Obviously, I completely agree. Go dogs! So here is my 48 hour guide to Athens, Georgia. The classic city has always been known for its amazing music scene, but on my trips to Athens, it is all about the food. First stop immediately when I pull into Athens is Condor Chocolate to get either an affogato, which is espresso poured over chocolate gelato, or their sipping chocolate, which is so delicious. They have all kinds of bars that they make in-house and so many other fun chocolate treats, y'all. It is like not a trip to Athens without getting some chocolate fix immediately. After stopping in Five Points for some chocolate, head downtown to check in at the Graduate Hotel. Me and my ugly lamp. Can I get a big go dogs for the 2021 National Champions? Also, if you've never stayed at the Graduate in Athens, like the decor, so retro, so fun. I am digging this rotary foam with the pink and the orange and the green. It is a whole mood and I'm loving every minute of it. Also over here, we've got some what looks, appears to be organic chemistry on the board. The National is one of my go-to dinner spots known for super shareable plates, which is my preferred method of eating. Their globally inspired menu also highlights local farmers and makers, which I love. Morning, day two in Athens. I had to stop by Independent Baking Company for an iced coffee, my favorite, and a pastry for a good kickstart to my day. Oh, oh good. When I was in school, I used to come study at the Botanical Gardens, not only because it's just a really pretty place to study, but they have tropical fruit plants so I can learn about how plants and food grew. Like right here, we have like mango trees, banana trees, a cinnamon tree, who knew? If art museums are more your speed, the Georgia Museum of Art is a must visit when you're in Athens. For another afternoon pick me up, I love visiting the little ice cream dude's Cool World ice cream shop. Bo Shell started his own ice cream business at the impressive age of eight. I got to talk with him a lot during my visit and he is so impressive. And so are his brownie sundaes. Y'all, look at this. It is so good. It is not a trip to Athens without an afternoon stroll through campus to see Sanford Stadium, visit the bookstore, ring the chapel bell, and walk under the arch. That is only if you've graduated. Bulldogs have lots of traditions, but two of our biggest are ringing the bell after football wins, finishing finals, or just after anything exciting. And second, never walking under the arch, only around it until you've graduated. Legend has it, you won't graduate if you do. As an alumna, I now walk under it any chance I get. UGA might be the 2021 national football champs, but it's not football season yet, so I have to come to a basketball game while I'm in town. Seabear Oyster Bar is one of my favorite spots for post-game snacks. Of course, I always order oysters on the half shell, but I've never had a meal here that disappoints. They didn't have them on the menu this visit, but they make some of the best Parker House rolls I've ever had. Last day in Athens, I cannot leave town without getting my favorite fried chicken in the entire world at Food for the Soul. They do a meat and two or three sides or an all-you-can-eat buffet. I used to come here almost every Sunday after church. Y'all, the fried chicken is out of this world. If you're in Athens, it is a must stop. Okay, y'all, sadly, my weekend in the Classic City has come to a close, but I've had so much fun taking y'all around to some of my favorite places. Of course, you know what to do. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you're watching on YouTube, click the bell so you never miss an episode of Hey Y'all. I am so glad that I got to take you on this journey to Athens, the best college town in the South forever and always in my heart, but definitely this year in 2022. So, of course, I have to end the video and say, go dogs. Bye, y'all.